Hey guys, what's up? My name is Steven and you're watching my video series on practical JavaScript where I walk you through the algorithm challenges at freecodecamp.com. Uh, the last couple of challenges were really difficult, uh, but this one is actually quite easy compared to them. Uh, and I'm looking forward to showing you some new tricks uh, uh, to you know uh, solve this problem. Uh, if you go over to the um, Free Code Camp website, uh, we've been doing the challenges in order. Uh, so, you know, we start off with reversing a string, then factorializing a number. And the last video, we uh, checked for palindromes. In this video, we're just finding the longest word in a string. And it's quite simple. We just return the length of the longest word in the provided sentence. And uh, we're going to use this sentence, uh, the quick brown fox jumped over uh, the lazy dog. Uh, so any Anyway, let's just go ahead and jump into the text editor. Uh, we're working with the new JavaScript file as we normally do. This one is called four underscore longest word dot JS. And I've already gone ahead and embedded that in the HTML file on line 11. Uh, okay, and uh, just to make sure that we have this set up, I'm gonna be uh, running it in the browser in Chrome, and I'll just get my JavaScript console all ready for us. So um, I'm going to show you two ways to do this, and they're essentially the, the same thing. Um, there's not going to be any recursion or anything crazy like that this in this video. Um, but I'm going to show you the, the standard way that a lot of people do it, and then I'll show you um, an example uh, of doing this uh, functionally. So let's just do the standard uh, one. So function, uh, we'll say, let's call it longest word. Okay, it's going to take one argument, a string. Okay, and we'll just get our test set up here. Uh, oops, longest word. And I believe the, I believe the test I'm just going to copy and paste it from, from this right here. Okay. Perfect. Okay. I believe, was there a period? No, there wasn't a period. So I'll get that out of there. Okay. All right. So I'm going to uh, do this first one using a for loop. Uh, really simple to, to set up. Um, I want to inspect each of the words in this um, in this sentence right here. So you might recall from previous uh, you, you know the previous videos uh, there's already a useful uh, method that we can uh, apply to the string, uh, the split method. So I'm going to go ahead and create a var uh, a variable called words, and it's actually going to be an array of words. So I'm going to say str split, and I'm going to give it a, um, a uh, this argument uh, with a space. So basically, it's going to uh, take out all of these little spaces uh, that you see, and uh, it's going to be a, an array of words. So if I just, you know, if I just uh, do this for you and go to the console. Okay, you can see right here, it's just um, an array of all the words. So that's perfect. Um, that's exactly what we need. And we're going to iterate through this array. Uh, I'm also going to keep um, a variable to keep track uh, of the length of the longest word. So I'll call that, um, I'll call that biggest. Okay, and just set it to zero for right now. So I'm going to use a for loop to go through this. So I'm going to say, uh, right, started at zero. We're going to iterate until um, through the whole uh, uh, array of words. So that's what we're doing right here. And then after each succession, we'll increment the variable i. All right, and I'm going to set up a, a condition right here. So I'm going to say if words i. And so I'm using the index uh, number right here. So I is uh, currently at zero for the first iteration. So that would be the first word, the, and then uh, uh, words index one would be quick, and then two, and then three, and so on. So if words uh, at the index I is greater than, oops, 
the length of that word is greater than biggest. Okay, then we're just going to say biggest is now equal to that length of words. I dot length. Okay, and then after that, I'm just going to return biggest. So I'm um, just doing a quick um, look at this sentence, and I think jumped is the uh, biggest word with a length of six. So it should return six. I'm going to go ahead, save that, go to the browser, and we should see a six. And there we have it. Okay, so just to uh, recap here, all right, I've created an array of words using the split method, and I did that by, um, by putting in a space between the two quotes right here, so that's very important. And then I uh, needed a placeholder uh, just to remember the length uh, of the biggest word, so uh, I just created a variable called biggest. Uh, I iterated through my array of words through um, with a for loop, and I set it up right here. And then I'm just checking with a simple condition. Um, if the current word, if the length of the current word is um, bigger than um, whatever is currently stored in this biggest variable, uh, then we're going to set the biggest variable to the length of that word. And then after the loop, we return uh, that integer. So um, that's one way to do it. And uh, we're going I'm going to show you another way. It's, it's essentially the same thing, uh, but it's going to save us some lines. And uh, this is a pretty cool functional programming in JavaScript. So uh, I'm just going to you know, copy this for right now. We'll go back to it later. So function, longest word, same, same thing here. All right, I'm going to say str split like before, OK? Now this time, I'm not going to use a for loop. I'm going to use this method called the for each method. Okay, and for each, it, it, you, you might remember the reduce method um, from, from, uh, from one of my last videos, the reduce method. Uh, I think it was from the factorialize. Anyway, it's, it's an array method, and it takes a function as an argument, an anonymous function. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up. And the for each, it, it takes um, it takes one argument in this anonymous function, uh, but it can take up to three. So the first and required argument is the value. Okay. So uh, in this case, uh, the value would be each individual word. Okay. The second and optional argument would be the index. So, you know, that would be 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. And then I think the third um, uh, an optional argument would be the array. This is referencing the entire array, which would be um, yeah, the array of words. So we don't need the array, and we don't need the index, but we just need the value. And I'm going to rename that to word, so it reads more like uh, English. Okay, so I'm just going to say uh, the same condition. So if word dot length is greater than uh, biggest, and uh, I should set that variable. I still need that biggest equals zero. Okay. Okay. Then biggest equals word dot length. Okay, and then after that, I'm just going to return biggest like I had had done before. So I'm going to save that, go to my browser, and I should see, oops, and I should see a six again. Yep, and there we have it. So it essentially does the same thing, but you can see here. Um, that it, it's a bit shorter, it looks better, and this is just a cool example of functional programming. So the for each, that's a, that's a good um, a good method, a good array method to have in your tool belt. Um, so if you ever have to iterate through uh, an array, um, you know. 
don't don't go for the for loop and try to use something like for each or maybe even map if you have to return a new array and uh, i'll show you map in in another video okay that's all that i want to show you uh, for today thank you very much and if you have any questions please be sure to post them in the comments below that's all for now and goodbye happy coding and that's it i gotta press pause on this video <laughs>